Hello everyone. Yes, I've opened it. I was just looking for one little product that I thought that I had ordered, but I didn't. So I have a whole nother Timu haul. And an extra little Timu little thing to open. So this is a big haul, y'all. <laughs> Stick with me and we will go through all of it and see what it is together. Okay, let's open the, I did, like I was saying in the in, intro, is I did open it because I had my little pond out there on my porch. I was going to get the little bio um, balls or little things that goes in a filter to try to help with that good bacteria in a pond. So that's what I was trying to look for. And that, you know, but other than that, I haven't seen anything else really in it. And I'm excited about it because there's a lot of diamond paintings in here. So um, we will unbox this. We'll go through some of the products that I have in here mixed in with the diamond paintings. And then in part two, we'll go through the diamond paintings if if I have to, if I have to have a part two. Maybe I won't, but I'm pretty certain there's a lot of stuff in here. So we'll, we may have to look at the diamond paintings closer. Look, check on them out in part two. It may be, but anyways, we'll... We'll get in this big bo big bag in just a second. Let's open this little one. They sent two orders. Some things come a little faster than others. And I've had a lot of people, well, I've had one certain person that have, has left comments about uh, child labor laws that we shouldn't buy from Timu because of the child labor. And, in the foreign countries. Um, the majority of, uh, from what I have researched and what people have told me, is Timu has, an Amer has American uh, warehouses. So in those American warehouses, there should not be kids working because they're, they're supposed to be inspected. Now, whether it goes on or not, you know what I'm saying. It, uh, it was in the news just here recently that um, some of the kids coming across the border have been uh, that didn't have families have been lost. Eighty thousand have been lost by our country, and they don't know where they're at. That's what they say, and. There's been research that they're working and um, working in factories to, as one of them was supposedly Cheerios, where they're putting the bags in the boxes of the cereal. One That was somebody writing to a senator that one of the kids that was doing it writing that to a senator. That was what was on a Senate hearing this week. So that kind of concerned me. Is it not? I, I thought that America was not supposed to be able to do child. We had very strict child labor laws. So the more of that comes out, I'm sure it's going to affect what people where people buy things and, you know, the regulations, the fines, and the things that they'll get will change things. So, we're hoping. Anyways, um, it's hard for me to say, because that was my response, was in America, since Timu has their factories in America, and this is why they, it comes to us within a week, two, week or two, rather than two months, uh, from China, then they're being packed by adults here in America because we can't have child laborers. We, unless you know, unless parents have okayed it and they've had to go by strict 
regulations to be able to do that. You know, but if it comes out that this is what's going on now, it's it's going to be brought out. So if, if it is, you know, I apologize that I said that. If they're, they're doing that here in America and they're not supposed to, we have strict laws on that here. So you would think, well, my gosh, as much as that's been in the, you know, in the news, you'd think they'd be, you know. How does that go on when we have such strict laws? Anyways, um, this is the diamond painting glue from Timu that is 200 milliliters. 200, that's seven full ounces. Seven full ounces, and it comes with its little brush. So you would pour it on, and you would brush it around. Okay? I thought I would get that and try that out because I'm loving the specific diamond painting clear um, sealer that has been that I've been ordering because it does seal and it does dry clear and I I'm sure it's not going to yellow now I am going to the next time I'm out if I can remember I am going to go by the hardware store and I'm going to get the tile sealer in the big in in a big container it's it doesn't yellow and it seals tile that someone had suggested on here and i am going to try that out and see that this one come with a little brush and so i'll, I'll have a brush already you could use one of them um foam brushes too the the, the throwaways and be very gentle with it but this person Thank you so much for that suggestion. If I can just, this brain, remember to go get it <laughs> and try it out for y'all and see how that works. And if it doesn't yellow, which, you know, you, your tile sealer in your bathroom and you know where tile is, it's not, it doesn't yell, uh, yellow it, and it seals really good. And you can get it in big bulk at the hardware store. So we're going to try that out soon if this little brain of mine can remember it you know anyways here we go Timu diamond painting another diamond painting there's two now I don't know what this is this is a whole bunch of diamonds I don't know what <laughs> I've never gotten just a huge pack of diamonds like this. Um, the diamonds are in this one. The diamonds are in that one. The diamonds are in this one. I don't understand. Maybe this is... I don't know. This is a whole pack of diamonds. Of Diamond painting diamonds. I didn't order that, I don't think. Let me look it up and see. I can look up my order on Timu. Go to Timu. Two orders. Down here on the app, it says U, Y O U. So I click that, and now I'm going to my orders here. And I'm going to see. Package one, um, I only had one item and that was this, the sealer. Package number two, I'm going to click on it. Come on. We have a storm, so our internet must be giving us a hard time. There we go, it's starting to, there we go. Uh, order details, let's see what all I got in it. Oh, I thought, and I paid $18.49 for it. I thought, well, I don't know. 
I thought I bought a key that shows the actual color numbers with uh, the diamond painting, the diamonds, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, the diamonds on the actual key, so that way it makes it easier to just um, categorize them. Frodo, come over here and sit down. Come sit down. Um, I thought that's what that is, but I don't see anywhere that I ordered a huge bundle of diamond painting diamonds. I, I don't know. We shall wait and see how this goes. Let's just pull everything out. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. I have been sitting waiting on the on purchasing these. I have not purchased them. I've had them in my cart and I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I've seen them on AliExpress and I couldn't wait and I couldn't wait get them but it I always chose not to get them whenever I was picking what to send you know how that goes oh, we'll wait on that we'll wait on that look at this I know that I have been boycotting Disney but I couldn't help this one of the things that I love one of my favorite Disney movies is uh, the old classics you know, that Walt had, Walt messed with. Um, Alice in Wonderland. And when they, the, the little story about the little oysters. Let me get them all out. These are for me. These are not for other people. This is for me. <laughs> well, if you want to buy them, you go right ahead. But these are for me. And they have little different faces on them. They're little, they, if you remember that movie, when the guy is telling the story about the little oysters, it's a Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I think they're telling the story of the little oysters. Yeah. Button, button, who's got the button? And look at this. Little oysters. And the, the man um, would call it little oysters, little oysters. Call them. Let me see if I can get them to sit in my hand so you can see them. Oh, it's going to be hard. Let's see. <gasps> Look at this. If it will focus, focus, please. Please focus. Ah, why won't this thing focus? Oh, let me. These are hard to, to to hold up so you can see them. They are little oysters, little oysters. I just love it. I just love little things like this. I saw these and I was like, how cute is this? <laughs> little oysters, little oysters. <laughs> Now you got to watch that movie so you can see that part. If you're not familiar with it. It's the cutest. Look at that. They're in their little beds. And the top is like their little hats. Oh my gosh. They're just like in the movie. And they've got little faces. Oh my gosh. How cute. How cute is this? <laughs> I love it. Okay. Those are mine. My little oysters. I love it. Love it. Now, you can get them as keychains. These are just little... They don't sit up very well. They just are rounded on the bottom. I thought they were keychains, but they just... They lay over. They don't... They don't sit up. They they want to lay... <laughs> I don't care. I love them. I love the little oysters. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm crazy. Yeah. Somebody commented, like, Is that lady drunk? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just me. <laughs> okay, we've got some earrings here that is going to be really pretty. These are, I'm gonna, I've got several of the same pair, and I'm going to put them over here so I don't show you the same things over and over again. Um, and these are gorgeous, and I cannot wait. To, uh, these are going in the booth. They are hummingbirds. Little hummingbirds. 
You can see how pretty they are. Substantial. They're not heavy. They're not going to weigh your earlobe down. They're, they're nice. They're nice. They're going to be really nice. Love, love, love. Um, and I love that the um, design on them. Okay, here's another pair of earrings that is, I have to, it's one of those folded over at the bottom things that I can never see the edge and I'm always like flipping over, where's the opening, where's the opening? <laughs> I hope I ain't the only one does that. Oh, now they're in another little baggie. That's great. But it's just hard to show it. Okay, let's get this up here. Beautiful earrings. Okay, something just... Can, oh, the backs. The back, It has little plastic rubber... I mean, little rubber backs. The silicone backs, I'm sorry. It's not rubber or plastic. These are little silicone backs. I don't want to lose those. Because that helps keep them in your ear and not work out. And then you fall, they fall off and you, you forget them. You, you don't see where they go and you lose them and then you're all sad. So here we go on these. They're their little danglies. And they look like they are a purple with orange and amethyst little stone at the top. Really pretty. Really pretty. I haven't had any issues with the jewelry from Timu. So, and then here are some uh, ankle ankle bracelets, which I love ankle bracelets. And these go around your ankle like this. And it's got a long closure thing and where's the little clasp? oh there it is there's the clasp right there and what these do these are supposed to be supposed to make there we go very very light can't really hear it but they're the little they're supposed to be little bells but that goes around your ankle let's see if this one They're very light sounding. So it's not real loud. That's kind of disappointing because I had some that actually made the noise. The really little tinkle, tinkle, tinkle of the of the, um, the bracelets. Let me look in this one. I've got two of these. Let's see. I may be disappointed in these. I just said that I never had had any disappointments. And this is stuck together. Come on. Okay, it's a little jump ring that's stuck on another jump ring. Okay. Let me look at it for a second. Oh, I see. The jump ring right there is stuck on it. But anyways, I'm going to check. It's not too bad. But I will be able to look under my micros my magnifying glass and gently get those apart so that way it won't affect it. Okay, let's see. The next thing is, oh, 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 oh. This is a diamond painting. Um, okay, I know it's right there. I see it, it is right there and I cannot get it to open. Okay, there we go. This I'm opening, it's a diamond painting. Um, special drill item. If I can get it to come out, um, you always get... I had to change my battery and I had to uh, go unload some of the videos that I had already on my, my uh, memory card. But this is a diamond painting. If you've never seen diamond paintings, um, this is a special shape, meaning it's, or AB, it has the, uh, lollipop colors, you know, the clear, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jewels. 
and instead of it being an actual canvas, it's, <laughs> let's see if I can get it open. It's a compact mirror. It's a compact mirror and it's a kitty cat. You see there? Isn't that awesome? You would put these bling bling this up. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna do these very very quickly today, and and get them in my uh, vendor booth. So yeah, that's what this is for. Oh my gosh, I may keep me one of them and just offer one in my booth. It is so hard to. Wow, whatever he's got on the TV in there, it sounds crazy. It's very hard to decide what you want <laughs> to keep and what you want to put in your vendor mom. Now, I have a dress here. I think this is a dress or a shirt. We'll shall see and see if it fits me. If it doesn't, it'll fit my daughter. Um, let's get up here and... Oh yeah, it will be fine. And look how nice and pretty. It's got the flowers on it. And it's a tank top, so it's gonna be nice and cool. I bought these hoping that it would get here in time to go with me to the beach. But <laughs> that's okay. I didn't have to wait a whole month on it. But I, it was sort of a late, late idea, a late decision. So it's mainly my fault and, you know, not giving myself enough time for it. I just happened to see it and I was like, well, if it gets here, that's great. Here's another diamond painting. Another diamond painting. All of those are going to be in a different video. Another diamond painting. And some more of the anklets. I'm probably going to regret getting those because they don't make the pretty little noise, the little, little bell ringing. Okay, we've had a little thunder and now little Frodo's gonna have a little bit of problems. Um, more diamond paintings. I've gotten into a special shape um, diamond painting uh, craze right now because I'm thinking that it's getting well received I'm in my um, <laughs> uh, vendor booth. So most of this is diamond painting. So I will probably open up a couple of them with you. And then there's another one of these. How many did I buy? There's two in each. I didn't realize there was two in each. But anyways, if you want one of them ankle bracelets, let me know. And here's an, another kitty cat uh, mirror compact for your purse. Diamond painting. That one's a little different from that first one. The first one was a calico. This one is more of like my cat outside, little Siamese or snow, she's a snowshoe, which they use Siamese. Okay, here's another little outfit. I'm probably needing, let's see, to try them on to really see, but, um, oh yeah, that one's going to be fine, and that's going to be nice and cool, look at this pretty color, really pretty color, and this is that fabric that's almost like swimming fabric, you, you know what I mean, and it's very cool when it's hot out, so, yep, yeah, there was another little dress that I was wanting to wear on the beach, but last, you know how it is, last minute decision, wasn't enough time. This only took a, about two weeks to get to me, and it was in two different order, I mean two different bags, which it's not, it wasn't too bad. The only thing that come in the, the other bag was um, the glue, the diamond painting glue. 
And here are more of the little oysters, except these are keychains. Now, I don't know why I'm sitting so far behind that. But these are the same little oysters that you saw earlier, but they have been made into, they are keychains. So these may go into my booth. I don't know, but I love them. Look at these little little oyster keychains. Little oysters, little oysters. And sadly, they were eaten up. And really sad. I love the little oysters. And they have the same one's yawning, one smiling. And one is half, got its mouth open. So you can see them in this, this bag, but hopefully you can see them. But yeah, that's what these are. I love them. I love, love, love my little oysters. Mine. <laughs> okay, and here's something else. These are, I believe, earrings. Yep. These are lever back earrings and they are dragonflies let's see if I can get them together so you can see them they are dragonflies with a pretty gold um, green stone behind them love 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 beautiful love it wonderful Okay, we have some more, more of the hummingbird earrings that you saw earlier. And I'm going to do it like that just to remind you what, what it looks like. Make sure it's, they're really pretty. If they're, it may be a different bird. Okay, more of the green dragonflies. Okay, these are hearts. Let's see what these are in a double bag. And the second one is the kind that I can't never find where the edges. <laughs> Am I the only one? Am I the only one that has a hard time finding or getting it to open once you find it? These are red. These are hearts, earrings that are just gorgeous. Let me look at it really quickly. I want to make sure that it isn't satanic or anything. If it is, it'll go straight into the trash. I don't know if that's bats above it or if that's just, I do. I think these are bats, so they may go in the trash. I don't want to do anything that, see, sometimes whenever you're looking at these things on there, you don't realize what some of the design is. And when you get them home, you realize that it's a design that you don't like, you know. So, and it, you know, they're not expensive. And so, they're, they're, these are like vampire bats. Um, upside down. Holding the heart. Okay, that just sounds horrible, but if you can see that upside down vampire bat right there right here right there you can see it i didn't realize that i just saw a pretty the bottom part i was looking more at and i didn't really realize that that was an upside down hanging vampire bat what i'll do is I'm going to take that middle section out right there and keep this. Um, I can open the jump ring, take this off, open up the jump ring down here, take that off, take that little stupid vampire bat out of there and just make them like this. Just have them like that. Just have them like that. So, yeah, I shall fix it. I shall fix it. 
I love my Lord Jesus and I am not going to have vampire bats going crazy in my boot. <laughs> just weird. Just uh, You don't realize sometimes the, the things that are in jewelry and you you don't. Sometimes you don't. You just like something and you say, oh, let's, let's get that. And you don't realize there's a symbolism in it that you may not like. And for me, I didn't like that. Okay, so here is another pair. And the wires are already tarnished. These wires, but I can always change those out. The uh, ear wires. But this is, I can always use... I always take that off and use sterling or um, a plated stainless and put new one, new white ear things on. But if you notice, the the wires have already started tarnishing the ear wires. So yeah, thought those would neat. Okay, maybe, and, th and this also has the uh, silicone backs in them, so don't lose those when you open these bags. They're loose off of them. They're inside the actual bag, and I hope I have not lost any of them, so. Here is another version of the bird earrings, but this is the blue. This is more of a blue and green. Ooh, listen to that thunder. This is more of a blue and green. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I really like those. Blue and green. Oh, it's a storm. The Lord is, the reason why there's a let, lightning and thunderstorms is because the water will, act, and this is another of the red, so I'm just going to put that back in there. Red heart. Um, and another one of the blue, green uh, birds. And more birds, more of the that same old. Let me see, make sure it's the same. Is it the same or is it different? Yeah, it's the same. Um, more of the hearts, more of the others. So that is all the jewelry, all the little jewelry that I got. Now, I was telling you about the thunder and light, the lightning and thunderstorms. They are, it is like that because water, the molecules of water need to be electrically charged to have magnesium and other minerals uh, be fused to it. The electric charge helps the minerals and the, well, say vitamins, but the minerals and things that feed plants. It feeds the plants. It's the way the Lord is helping to feed the plants. The water isn't just H2O anymore. When it's electrified, all the minerals that's in the air will go into that water droplet. And when it comes down and it goes in, the it stays with that water and it'll go up into the plants via the roots. So, okay, now I've done put this in without putting it back in the thing. Trying to clear my desk so that way you can see what and all I've got. So, instead of, I'm just going to put it all in there. I'll get it all out in a little bit. I'll even put this thing in there. Make sure it's closed tight. I'm just trying to put, move the things off in my desk so that I can show you a few of the diamond paintings because I don't want to have part three. 
I've got a lot of extra diamonds here. This is a whole pack of all, all of the diamond colors known to man. On the, oh my goodness. All right, so we've got this. I'm going to just do the special. Let's just do the special shapes on this one. They're kind of quick. Oh well. They're most all special shapes. <laughs> so let's save let's save three of the special shapes for the next video. We'll put them all right there. I've got done I've got <laughs> I've got earrings and little oysters in my way. <laughs> Okay, my little oyster. Here, you sit right there and you watch me. You sweet little thing. You just sit right there. You can see it in the corner. Right here. Here, my little oyster. You sit right there, little sweetie. And you watch what I got, okay? Now, I don't know if I can go through this many. Let's just put this, let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's do four. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to put you down here so you can see. Okay, everyone. Special drill. If you are watching this because you're a Timu fan and you love to watch Timu <coughs> unboxing, but you haven't ever heard of diamond painting, this is sort of a good intro into diamond painting. What it is is you get this canvas. This is canvas, like on a stretched canvas. Like, Let me show you. Like when you go to Hobby Lobby and you get and you like to paint and you get a stretched canvas, right? This white canvas is what they print a picture on, okay? And when they print that picture, they then where it's gonna be where you're gonna put these little diamonds, there's the little toolkit that you use. Here's the diamonds that come with it. And these are called special shapes because they're jewels and they ha are different sizes. They'll have Aurora Borealis. They'll have different colors and I'll show you those in just a minute. And what they do is they print out a picture on there and they have a, uh, a software on their computer that is able to show where they want to put diamonds. Okay? Bling it out. So this is what you call a partial. That means this is not, this hasn't got anything that you're going to put, you're not going to put any diamonds, which they should have put some diamonds on these little sparkly areas, but it doesn't have it, okay? But when you get where the diamonds are going to go, you can see these little, little areas. I'll show you up close. It is sticky. They put glue. And then they... Once they put the glue where the diamonds are supposed to go, they put a cover sheet. Now this is a clear cover sheet that lets you know that it was poured glue rather than a um, non-see-through uh, double-sided tape. So this is the key that shows you where to put your diamonds, which diamonds to put and where to put them. Okay, so. Here we go, up close. Here is the key. You're going to use that key on how to place your diamonds. In this, this is the, this is the little symbols that you're gonna look for when you're gonna, like, let's say the number one right here, you're going to look for this shape on this. So if you look in there, see if you can find that in there and that's where you would place that first one okay so that you say well how do we do that this is what your tools are now this is just a basic little old starter tool kit this is um, wax that you have to peel back the little cover there's a cover on both sides to keep it safe and you would Pull that off, okay, and no, 
you would fill your pen point up with this and what it does let's see if I can get it to show on there inside that little point that wax is there so when you open up this this is your diamonds that's going to go on this painting Let's say you don't want to check and make sure there's 14. This is number 12. Number 12 is a marquee, I think, or a, um, oh my goodness, why is it not one? You can see some of these can be hard to pick up, but this is what this is for. You'll pour them in here, shake them back and forth, and they'll get right side up. And then you'll take and you'll pick it up with this pen and you will place it down where those are supposed to go. All right. So this is number 12. Number nine is a pearl. See that? Okay. And we're making sure we have 14. So here's number 14. I'm going to put this over here. Where's that little square that I took off? I don't know where I put it. It's on here somewhere. I'll find it later <laughs> when I don't need it. Okay, so here is number one, which is gold. And, they look, and it is clear. See-through gold, like, the, the, like in heaven. 100% pure gold in heaven is see-through. Now this is more of a, oh my gosh, that is a deep, smoky, turquoise um, color. Gosh, I can't keep them still. I'm sorry. And then there's the pink. It's pink with Aurora Borealis color on it. And then we have more, a lighter turquoise green, aquamarine green, I'd say. And then silver or diamonds. And then pink. And then we have round gold, which is not see through. They're more like beads. And then that's sapphire. Silver beads. No, 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 no. Those are crystals. Those are silver crystals with Aurora Borealis color on it. And then you have all of these other wonderful shapes and colors. And that's why we call them special shape. And that is a special shape partial diamond painting. These are very fun to do. Very fun to do. Very addictive. Once you start doing this, you will be ordering these. You'll be finding these <laughs> It really is um, a wonderful little hobby. Now this is just for, this is good for starters because it's partial. I would say, I used to not buy partials because I felt like, you know, I'm paying almost the same price as a, a full one that has all of this. All of this would be diamonds. Um, but I'm getting to where I'm liking these because when you put them on the black canvases, when I, I have a video where you can glue these onto the actual canvases, like I just showed you, these really pop. They are really, really pretty. And I think a lot of people at my booth, it's gotten a lot of, uh, I did the cats earlier in another video and... Um, they have been well received at the booth. People have just really didn't know anything about it and it's just really set it off. So, all right, here is another one. Another thing that you want to make sure of 
when you get your diamond painting, and this is that beautiful turtle. This is a partial. Remember, this why this is kind of hanging off, and it only is going to be sticky where your diamonds go. All right, there they always always give you a t um, should give you a toolkit because this may be your only one you've ever done, and you don't have any other ones. Here are the diamonds. Here is the symbol grid, and I'm going to show that to you close. It's a little bit different than the other one. And then you have them right here. And I uh, advise to lay it out flat and put a book over it or something to try to get any kind of uh, wrinkles or whatever out of it. Now, also, these have the WQ008 serial number up there. It's a 30 by 30 centimeter. So, it's okay to do 30 by 30. I usually tell everybody, don't do anything, don't get anything that doesn't have a 40 at least on one side. Um... But this was so up close, so up close to this turtle that it, I can get by with it, okay? I usually don't do 30 by 30s, but it, you can see it's going to turn out really nice. It's a partial. The picture's really going to show you what it is. And so we have 13 colors. You want to make sure you have your 13 colors in here. You want to make sure that nothing is busted before you really really pull them out you can tell I'll show you you can tell if something's busted by when you go to move it if there's a, any in the bottom of the bag when you go to move it and from from here it looks like this is 1 through 13 we have 13 colors and Tape, shapes and sizes, all these have different special shapes. And this is why I love these. Look, when you get this under your light, I use a an LED magnified light. And our light is, our electric's about to go out. Um, these just shine. Oh my gosh, it's just like candy. It's like, oh, it's just beautiful. We love it. And once it's on that painting, on that picture, it just glows. It's so nice. And I don't see this one staying in the booth very long at all. So we have all 13. So this, this one's fine. Woo, we got a storm going. This was the ones that I think produced a, produced, a, produced tornadoes in Texas that killed three people. So please, these are probably the same storms come up through there. So please pray for those people. Their families, this hard. And whenever you are trying to get a away from a tornado. Do not get in your car. Don't try to outrun it. And this is another little kitty kitty that has special shapes. And we've got this one came with the baggies, which is really handy. Um, when I do these, I don't kit these up in my big kits um, uh, containers. I just go through and do all the number ones, all the number twos, and all the number three. And after I'm done, I will put them in where I uh, save them. I do not throw away any of my excess diamonds because if I get a diamond painting that is missing some, or if I drop some in the floor and I can't get them up, then, okay, that just went all crazy right there. What in the world went along with that? Okay. All right. 
Yes. So that, huh, I don't know. Okay, so we see this cat, and it almost reminds me of blueberries and strawberries, just the colors, but it's not. It's just red, red and blue, and the colors is going to be wonderful, okay? So we have 11, so here's 1 through 5 of the smaller rounds, but you can see the colors. Lightning, lightning, lightning. <laughs> But lightning is there for a reason. And you can see all these wonderful colors here that's going to go on this kitty kitty. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. There's that. And then we have some here. So here are these special shapes. Let's see if you can get that. You can see the flashing of lightning. You see the different shapes here. I'm just going to go on this kitty cat. And there's green, and here are these little teardrops. Oh my goodness, drive me insane. Because <laughs> they're so tiny and hard to get it to come off my pen because the pen is sticky. And it wants to stay on the pen rather than going down on the sticky surface. So, <laughs> because they're so light and little, you can see them. So light and little. Oh, but they're so pretty once they're on there. So yeah, we had 13, 11 colors. Okay, so this is one through five. So. Okay, so that is 11. We did have 11 there. And I want to make sure that I keep, because I lost my uh, I want to put it in there. No. Let's see. I'm going to use one of these. And I'm going to write on it. Because that that one broke. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this. Even though this one has the, if you notice, this one has the the um, PA009, PA009 right there on it, if you can see that, if it'll show up, and you can see the PA009. I'm going to right on it exactly what it is. It's, the, it's a red and blue cat partial. So that way I know this special shape. Okay. It's fighting me. My fingers. My fingers are not made for little things and here I am doing little things like this. Look at this! Go in! Good grief! <laughs> Don't, I, there's one thing I could never do is be a dealer in a card, in a casino somewhere. <laughs> so I'm going to write on here, R8, wait a minute, no, it's PA, oh my gosh, I'm looking at this one, PA009, and this is red, and blue cat partial. It's special shape. So there that goes over there. Okay. So now we can move this out of the way. Now we're gonna do one more. And then we'll have part two of my order from Timu. Poor little Frodo's down there on the floor shaking because of the thunderstorm. And there is the toolkit. Here is the the um, diamonds that comes with this one. And this one has the serial number and the numbers here. Other than that, that's all it has. So what I do 
is I will find that R8239. R8239, it is right there. And then I will say what it is. And it is a fairy. A partial a woman fairy or yep with a pretty dress um, it's a peacock in the background you can see the peacock in the background so anyway so I'm gonna say peacock fairy there we go and anytime I have I put my partial I mean my special drills in a different drawer so you can see how she is. She has eight colors. You see her up close and pretty. How pretty she is. You can see some of those symbols on her, how it's done. This is a good starter if you want to start someone off on diamond painting. Give them one of these. This will hook them. Hook, line, and sinker because it doesn't take long to do these at all. They can sit down and do them within an hour or two. And then they'll be like, okay, where's my next one? <laughs> then they'll graduate over to the, the bigger ones that has all of the diamond paintings. I may do one of those before I sign off here. But So we have one, two, eight. And we'll show you the colors, these wonderful colors. Look at that peacock. Aurora Borealis. Special shapes. See, now they're different sizes. Different shapes, different colors from regular diamond paintings. I don't like that they're partials. I'd like to have a full one, but it's okay. It's okay. They still are so pretty that they still are just so nice. Okay? I just always like the, the full squares. You know, but I've gotten to where I'm liking these even more. So that is all eight of those that goes in that. Really pretty. If I can hurry and get this in here. And close it where it should be. And I'm going to show you the symbols on this one. Oh, lightning right here at my window. There we go, see? But the Lord is feeding my wonderful little flowers that he has given me. Okay, um, let me find one that is a full. Okay, just so you, if you're watching and you've never, you haven't seen a full diamond painting, what I'm talking about, a full, full diamond painting and not a partial, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, now there will be a part two to see the rest of the diamond paintings that came in this order from Timu. And... Here we go. This one's a little longer. Look at there. See how long this one is. This one is long. It's flowers. Beautiful flowers. That looks like a hibiscus. Um, and butterflies. The Lord's flying flowers. They're butterflies. And who doesn't look? And that looks like a, a clematis. But this is a very long one, and it is a full one, and I wanted to show you a full one in case you have not seen um, diamond painting before, and you're just learning what it is because you like to watch Timu unboxings. Um, this whole canvas here, instead of being partial like this one, only having areas, certain areas for special shaped uh, gems gems um, this is going to be all complete little gems and you're going to put these on where it says okay I'm going to show you this up close this one has 24 colors it is uh, butterflies with hibiscus and other 
kind of flowers like clematis. I think that's a clematis, maybe. Or it's got like that hairy. I think it's a clematis, but I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But um, it's very long. This is a 30 by 70. So it's kind of narrow, but it's long and nice. It's going to take a little while to get this done. 24 colors and they have included the glitter. It is sticky all the way to the edge, even to a quarter inch out from the diamond painting edge. So I want to show you the symbols. I can get it up there. And if you notice on one side is the, the, the order, this side is the number of the color. So they use the embroidery floss color chart to make the diamonds. Okay, so the same numbers that you would use to find your colors on your embroidery floss is the same numbers that you would uh, save each one of your leftover diamonds. It gives you that number so that way you can write that on the container that you're going to save your new, I mean, save them in case you want to do more, in case you drop some in the next diamond painting and you have that color on hand, you don't have to try to go find it and buy it. And so here is the grid. Let you see that up close. The symbols and how the grid is. Okay, so just like you would do If I don't drop something, it just ain't me. Um, what you would do is just like you would do in the, these partial ones, is you load your pen end up. It's it's hollow, and you you will stab this little wax to get up in there, and then you would pour. You do number one. You would pour number one in, and then you would do this to get it to be right side up and then you would take the pen and you would find all those ends number one is in a capital N and you would find all those ends and you would put a diamond everywhere there's an end okay so I'm going to show you that up close again so you can see where the ends are can you see can you find the ends on there So that's where you would put number one. And then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. And when I work, work on these long ones, I'll do, I will only go so far. Do all of it, then I will go down here and do all of it. All, I'll go through all of them. Then I will go down here, do all of them, <laughs> and then finish, okay? So it, it's going to be like in one, let's say half of this or a, a third of this is going to be a week, maybe, at nighttime. Um, I don't think a week. Wait a minute. This would probably take me two days, two, two and a half days, two, two and a half days, two, two and a half days. So that's about how long. It would take me just doing an evening. I'm not talking about sitting here from daylight to dark every day. Um, just on the little amount of time that I use when I do it. So that's how I, I, I just, you know, that's how I do it. Anyways, each one of these are in separate baggies. Some of them come like this. Some of them come like this. And then there's a different, there's other ways they come too. But I'm not going to get into that right now. Because <laughs> that's a whole long thing. But when you're opening these to see how many, if you've got all 24 in here. You want to make sure, and if you notice, you can see a diamond here, and a diamond here, and a diamond here. It looks like there's one that is actually not sealed very well. And you notice here. There's one kind of in that, well, there's one kind of in the folds 
of the, the baggie that it's in. So be very careful when you are opening these and get them out and check. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to... I, I do that later after this, but um, I will check and make sure all of these are, are there. If anything's missing, I'll let you know on the camera right here. But if you don't see anything, that means it all came and it's fine. So, but most of the time, these baggies are not zipped all the way completely. And the little diamonds will escape. So you have to be very careful. What you get is what you get. They usually give you extra amount, more so than what the pattern calls for. So, you know, if you're missing one, that's when you need to tell the company you bought it from. Like I would tell Timu that um, I'm missing this, let's say I'm missing number 8, 702 of this diamond painting, 6Y04121108. That is what this diamond painting is. And I'm missing that number eight. Let's say that. Let's just say that. Um, and that's how you would let them know. They, they should send it and make it good. Sometimes, whoops, they will send a whole nother painting out. Rather than go try to find the one color. <laughs> so, that's just the way they are. That they're most of the time really good about backing up your diamond backing up the diamond paintings and the things that's in them. So, anyways, I'm going to write on here. This is the flowers and butterfly uh, seventy by thirty. Um. And the number is 6Y04121108. And I'm reading that upside down. So, anyways, I've got that on there. So, if, that, if this gets misplaced with this one, even though they've got 24 on here, they got 2108. I guess that's that last 2108 right here. On the very end, that 2108 is this, okay? So, just to, it's larger for me to see it really quick and grab it when I'm ready to do it. Okay, everyone, I really enjoyed opening this Timu order. I love you. I thank you so much for letting me take part in your day and that you, you made time for me. Jesus loves you, God loves you, I love you, and um, if you have any questions or any I, comments on what you've seen, what's your favorite things, um, do you like the partials better than the full diamond paintings? Do you like large diamond paintings like this where it's, four, it's 70 centimeters long? Now, um, and don't forget that there's going to be a part two of this unboxing where we looked through the rest of the diamond paintings that came in this. There were so many, I just couldn't get to all of them. So we'll have a part two. This is part one. And I thank you so much for being here with me. Y'all be good. God bless you. Bye.